Hey, welcome back. In this mini lecture, I'll be talking about Eddie Edward Bernays, the public relations pioneer, who is the self-proclaimed father of public relations. Uh, this is a little bit of his background. He was a pioneer in both public relations and propaganda. He was once named to life's 100 most influential Americans of the 20th century, and he is also uh, a nephew of Sigmund Freud, which I think explains some of his work in public relations. Uh, also, in terms of background, he was a member of the Committee on Public Information, what was also called the Creole Committee. Uh, it influenced public committee to support the United States in World War One. He coined the phrase Public Relations Council, and he was part of PR's first power couple with his wife, Doris Fleshman. Um, he has uh, several major PR campaigns. Let's talk about two of them right here. One is called the Torches of Freedom. It helped promote female smoking. It branded cigarettes as feminist torches of freedom. Uh, Bernays hired women to smoke in the 1929 Easter Sunday uh, parade in New York City. Uh, and there, women were seen as protesting for equality through smoking. And it was really effective. It led to higher rates of smoking. It was low in 1923, got higher in 29, much higher in 1935, and so on and so on. He also had a, another controversial uh, PR campaign working with United Fruit. Um, at the time, a new president, Jacobo Arbenz, wanted to crack down on the United uh, Fruit. He proposed some land reforms that would weaken United Fruit. So as a result, Bernays portrayed that government as communist and uh, United Fruit as a hero in a, sort of a pushback against that. As a result, the CIA, aimed, uh, CIA armed and trained the uh, Liberation Army, which overthrew our bends, and uh, unfortunately because of that, it resulted in a 40-year civil war. Not only was he a practitioner, but also an educator. He taught the first co uh, collegiate pu public relations course at NYU in 1923, wrote the first PR textbook, Crystallizing Public Opinion, and he developed three tools to influence public consent, the market research, social surveys, and public opinion polls, which are obviously still used today. Um, he had several uh, pronouncements on um, public relations. Uh, pop PR and propaganda in the modern period was a response to the rise of a social conscience among the masses. Um, according to Bernays, the emergence of a social conscience represented and signaled a historic shift in the social history of property. Uh, according to Ber Bernays' own admission, this inadvertently shed light on the condition that gave birth to the practice of modern public relations. The social conscience to which Bernays had referred arrived at that moment when aristocratic paradigms of deference could no longer hold up in the face of modern democratic public ideals that were boiling up against the lower strata of society. So PR was used to quell that uh, democratic uh, impulse. Um, PR was used as a method of social control. To confront democratic urgings, elites had to devise new mechanisms of social control. In the crucible of these changes, their aristocracy began to give way to technocracy as a strategy of rule. So again, uh, Pierre was used as a, as, a, as a tool to help achieve these technocratic ends. Um, he had believed in the idea of the intellectual few. Quote, uh, repeatedly, Bernays have maintained that although most people respond to their world instinctively without thought, there exists an intelligent few who have been charged with the responsibility of contemplating and influencing the tide of history. So these intelligent few are in charge of things. Uh, he also conveyed the idea of the hallucination of democracy. Here, a highly educated class of opinion molding tact tacticians is continuously at work analyzing the social terrain and adjusting the mental scenery from which the public mind with its limited intellect derives its opinion. Again, this um, uh, intellectual few um, helps to sort of um, uh, moderate and lead modern society and using PR again as a means to an end. In terms of his ideas on PR professionals, uh, by his own de definitions, a PR person who calls themselves that is an applied social scientist who advises a client or employer on social attitudes and actions to take to win the support of the public upon whom his or her or its viability depends. Again, once again, PR used as a tool to achieve certain ends. Um, in terms of shaping attitudes, PR is a response to a trans-historic concern, the requirements that for those people in power to shape the attitudes of the general population. Again, a strong tool, a deceptive tool sometimes used to achieve certain ends for people in power. That was Edward Bernays, Public Relations Pioneer. Thanks for watching.